Hello viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube video today. I'll solve a problem that will address the three measures of central tendency. One of them is mean, the second is the median, and then the next is the mode. I'll read the question. The table below shows the distribution of marks in percentages scored by a class of 40 students in the physics examination. Now, from the marks, six of the students scored from 10 to 29 marks, five of the students scored from 30 to 39 marks, seven of the students scored from 40 to 49 marks, 10 of the students scored from 50 to 59 marks, five of the students scored 60 to 69 marks, four of the students scored 70 to 79 marks, and three of the students scored 80 to 89 marks. Now the question, to one decimal place, A, calculate the mean mark, B, calculate the median mark, C, calculate the modal mark. Now to the solution. The first column, I will replicate what I have in the question. So max, and then I will write the respective class interval to fill up all the cells uh, in the column, max in percentage. And then the next column, I'll give it a name, class mark. Another name for class mark is class midpoint. Class midpoint, okay? Now the class midpoint, how do I get the class midpoint? I'll add the lower class limit of each of the class with the upper class limit of the respective class and I'll divide it by 2. So 10 plus 29 is 39. 39 divided by 2 is 19.5. 30 plus 39 is 69. 69 divided by 2 is 34.5. 40 plus 49 is 89. 89 divided by 2 is 44.5. 50 plus 59 is 109. 109 divided by 2 is 54.5. I'll go on. 60 plus 69 is 129. 129 divided by 2 is 64.5. 70 plus 79 is 149. 149 divided by 2 equals 74.5. 80 plus 89 is 169. 169 divided by 2 is 84.5. Now I'm done with the class mark. The next column will be my frequency column, which is equivalent to the number of students that took part in the test. So I'll replicate the content of the number of students column. I'll replicate it here uh, for the frequency, for the values of the frequencies of the respective class intervals. So I'll write it out then. I will sum it up 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 is equivalent to the summation of the frequency which is 40 and in the question we are told 40 students took part in the word physics examination. The next column will be the product of x and f. So f of x, so 19.5 times 6 equals 117. 34.5 times 5 equals 172.5. 44.5 times 7 equals 311.5. 54.5 times 10 equals 545. 64.5 times 5 equals 322.5. 74.5 times 4 equals 298. And then 84.5 times 3 equals 253.5. Now I'll sum up the entire column. That is 117 plus 172.5 plus 311.5 plus 545 plus 322.5 plus 298.5. Sorry, 298 plus 253.5. Now the summation of f of x equals 2020. Now to the A part. The A part, I need to find a mean mark. The formula for mean, which is x bar, equals summation of f of x divided by summation of f. The mean will now be equal to summation of f of x is 2020 divided by summation of f is 40. Therefore, the mean will be equal to 50.5%. 50.5%. Okay? Now I'm done with the first part of the question. Now to the second part, to find the median mark, okay, the B part. Now to find the median mark, I need to find the uh, value 
of half of the summation of the frequency that is i'll divide the summation of the frequency which is 40 by 2. now i needed to do that to know the mark that will lie at the middle of the half of this now because this value is even i don't need to add one to it because some persons out of the school of thought that you say 40 plus 1 divided by 2 well since it is even i think i'm good to go i don't need to add one to it so 40 divided by 2 will give me 20. therefore 40 divided by 2 equals the 20th mark meaning if i start adding either from top down or from bottom up the cell that gives me the 20th mark i'll trace it to the class interval and that will be the class interval of the median mark okay now i'll add the frequency column from top to get 20. so therefore i'll have six is the first value i'm adding from top down just like uh, the statement i mentioned here six plus five is equal to 11 11 plus 7 is 18. so i need two more marks to get the 20th value so but i don't have any two here what i have here is 10. so 10 plus uh, 18 will give me 28 okay so meaning the second value the two value i need to make up the 18 to make it 20 lie here now this 10 is adjacent to 50 to 59 meaning 50 to 59 is the median class okay now you can equally try this by adding it from bottom up let me do that now three plus four is seven seven plus five is what 12. so meaning i need eight marks to get the 20th mark and the eighth mark will be gotten from this cell, which is equivalent to 50 to 59. So 50 to 59 is the median class. Now that I've gotten my median class, I can figure out the problem. I can find the median mark. The formula for the median mark of the distribution is L plus, open a bracket, N over two minus F subscript C divided by F subscript M multiplied by W. I'm going to define all these variables okay the first one is m subscript e which is the median that the median mark of the distribution now l is the lower boundary of the median class n is the total frequency of the distribution f subscript c is the cumulative frequency before the median class frequency f subscript m is the frequency of the median class and then w is the width of the median class interval okay now my l is equal to 49.5 the question is this how did i arrive at 49.5 remember l is the lower boundary of the median class okay so i'll go to the median class my median class is 50 to 59 how do i get the lower class boundary i need to sum up the upper class limit of the class before the median class with the lower class limit of the median class so 49 plus 50 equals 99 99 divided by 2 will give me 49.5 i repeat 49 plus 50 is 99 99 divided by 2 is 49.5 so that's how to get the lower class boundary of the median class now n is the total number of total frequency of the distribution and the summation of the frequency here equals 40 so n is 40 and then f subscript c is the cumulative frequency before the median class meaning i'll keep adding the frequency until i get to the value before the median class and then i'll stop at that point so 6 plus 5 is 11 11 plus 7 is 18. the next is f subscript m which is the frequency of the median class and the frequency of the median class is 10. and then the final value is the class width or the class size of the median class and then how do i arrive at that to get the class width of any class, you need to find the lower class boundary of that class and the upper class boundary of the same class, and then you find the difference between the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary. So that, that will be upper class boundary minus the lower class boundary of that class. Here we've gotten the lower class boundary as what? 49.5. To get the upper class boundary, you will add the upper class limit of the class, of the median class, to the lower class limit of the class after the median class. So 59 plus 60 is 119. 119 divided by two is 59.5. So 59.5 minus 49.5 will be equal to 10. Please don't make the mistake of subtracting the lower class limit from the upper class limit. You end up having a value that is not correct. 59 minus 50 is nine. You can see it's different from 10. 
So you need to find the class boundary of the class in question. Find the upper class boundary and then the lower class boundary and then the difference. So in this case, it's 59.5 minus 49.5 give 10. Now I'll solve the problem. The lower class limit of the median class is 49.5 plus, I'll open a bracket, 40 divided by 2 is 20 minus cumulative frequency before the median class is 18 divided by frequency of the median class is 10 multiplied by the class width is 10. So I have 49.5 plus 20 minus 18 is 2. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2 times 10. From board mass, I need to figure this out. Multiplication comes before addition. So 0 .2, 0 0.2 times 10 is 2. Therefore, 49.5 plus 2 will give me the median mark, which is 51.5. So the second part of the question is solved. And the answer is 51.5. That is the median mark. So the mean mark is 50.5. The median mark is 51.5. Now I'm moving to the last part of the question, which is the C part of the question. The modal class M subscript 0 or M subscript O equals L plus, I'll put a bracket, delta 1 divided by delta 1 minus delta 2 times W. I'll define all these terms, okay? M subscript O equals the mode of the distribution. So we need to find the modal mark. That's what I'm looking for, the modal mark, M subscript O. And then L is the lower boundary of the modal class. The lower boundary of the modal class. Okay? Delta 1 is the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the class immediately before the modal class. Delta 2 is the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the class immediately after the modal class. And then W is the width of the modal class interval. Okay? Now, L1 is 49.5. How did I arrive at 49.5? Looking at the frequency, you agree with me that 10 is the biggest frequency, okay? 10 of the students scored, between, scored from 50 to 59 marks, okay? So, meaning 10 is the, what? the modal frequency. Now, which class is adjacent to this 10, 50 to 59? So, it's the same with the same, uh, the median class is the same thing as the modal class too, because somehow, it happens to be same, okay? So this value is 10, and then 50 to 59 is the modal class. So if that be the case, L signifies the lower class boundary of the modal class. And that we've done here already, and we got it to be 49.5. And how did I arrive at that? 49 plus 50 divided by 2 gave 49.5, okay? The next question is delta 1, which is the frequency of the modal class. And what is the frequency of the modal class? 10 minus the frequency before the modal class. The frequency before the modal class is 7. So 10 minus 7 is 3. Delta 2 is frequency of the modal class, which is 10, minus frequency of the class after the modal class. And the frequency after the modal class is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then W, w is the class width of the modal class. Since the class is same as the median class, so we've gotten the class width as 10. And how did we arrive at, at the class width? We got the upper class boundary of the modal class minus the lower class boundary of the modal class. Upper class boundary boils down to 59.5. Lower class boundary of the modal class boils down to 49.5. So 59.5 minus 49.5 gave 10. Again, do not make the mistake of subtracting the lower class limits of the modal class from the upper class limits. You will get a value that is erroneous. 59 minus 50 is 9. It's not the same as 10. Take note, always find the boundary, the class boundaries. That's the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary and find the difference. The solution now, the modal class or the modal mark of the marks obtained by the 40 students. First, the lower class boundary of the modal class is 49.5 plus delta 1 is 3 divided by 3 plus delta 2 is 5 times the class width 10. Now the modal class is 49.5 plus 3 divided by 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.375 times 10. Okay, so 49.5 plus 0 0.375 times 10 is 3.75. So 3.75 plus 49.5, that will be equal to 53.25. Now my answer is to be 
to one decimal place. So this five, I will round it up, it becomes one, I will add it to two, two becomes three. Therefore, the modal mark will now be 53.3%. 53.3%. So I've figured out the first, the second, and the third part of the question. The first part is the mean, which is 50.5%. The second part is the median mark, which is 51.5%. And the third part is the modal mark, and the modal mark is 53.3%. So I do hope you understood the solution to this problem. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you have not. Remember the channel is Victorian STEM. And if you've not liked our YouTube videos, I have a couple of videos. You can go through them and drop your comments and please like my videos. And I will appreciate if you keep watching my YouTube videos as I upload them. Because if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get a notification once I upload a new video. Thank you.